What's going on you guys, Justin from McKenna Designs and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to put a snorkel on your Ford Ranger. Let's get into it. So the areas we're going to be working in today is in the engine bay. You're going to be working near the air box. You're going to be removing the box, um, loosening some of the, the bolts so you can get into the, the air intake. Moving over to the wheel arch, you're going to be removing the wheel arch lining. So the best bet is to remove the physical driver's side wheel. Uh, this gives you loads of room to get in there. Um, it really helps out further along down the line. And then the actual area where the snorkel is installed, you're going to be working in that area, you're going to be taking off the air vent or that sort of shroud, take that off and there's two holes to drill in there, I'll show you exactly where to do those and then up here on the uh, roof rails, you're going to be working up there, you're going to be basically lifting the roof rail up, utilizing the two bolts that hold the roof rails down um, to get the bracket under there um, and that's pretty much it from that side and so that moves on to the tools we required for today. You're gonna need a decent sized jack to jack your vehicle up. Get yourself a Dremel uh, with a cutting disc on it or a grinder, that'll be just as good. Uh, but break up off your wheel, you're gonna need a socket set with some ring spanners and obviously your, your kit for your snorkel, all those associated brackets and bits and pieces. Um, so overall this is as easy as doing this on your driveway like I'm doing today, um, so you don't need to take it to a shop or anything like that however if, if that's what you prefer then so be it and there's one more item that you will need for the install is some silicone just to make sure those um, joints on your tubes of your snorkel are all watertight um, you don't want any water ingress in there at all um, so yeah hope that helps you guys and so uh, let's get into it Okay guys, uh, so step one is removing the wheel. Get that uh, removed. It gives you loads of room to work in here. That's the best thing you can do. And then remove the wheel arch lining as much as you can and then sort of bend it forward like I've done here. And all you're gonna be working in is sort of this area where you've got the gap all the way to sort of the front end here in that sort of direction there. And where my hand is now, this is the air pickup and you've got a bracket up here, and that is the bracket that we'll be trimming. And then in this sort of area here, this is where the snorkel actually comes through. So that's the area we're gonna be working in. So get to this part, and then we'll move on to the next. Alrighty guys, so once you've got to this point where you've removed your wheel arch lining, and you're ready to rock and roll, what you wanna work on now is all the bracketry and get your holes marked up for your snorkel. So. The first thing I sort of worked on was this little bracket up here that actually holds the top end of the snorkel. What you need to do is remove the actual roof handle up on the driver's side. Just pop over two little uh, little clips and it will reveal a T30 Torx head uh, bolt on either side. You want to remove those bolts and the, the handle actually pop out. Remove that and what you need to do is actually peel the, the roof lining back ever so slightly and reveal two dome head nuts. Get those released and get those um, out of the roof there. And then what you'll do next is just pop up the actual roof rails and reveal the actual retaining bolts that actually go through the roof. And I use those to actually hold this bracket down. So once you slide that bracket in there, get those bolts back in the holes and do everything back up in reverse. And that should take you about five minutes. And the next thing you wanna do is actually grab your snorkel. And in this particular kit, when it comes, you've got these four, oh, sorry, three bolts that actually hold the snorkel to the body, and they come with little nylon uh, nuts on the top of those. You want to remove those, keep the little um, studs in place, and then those are a great guide to where you need to drill. So if you marry your uh, snorkel up, use the actual upper retaining uh, bolt hole and retain the snorkel up there, and then you can actually get it up into the area that you need to um, mark to drill the holes. So let's do that. So once you sort of married it up to the vehicle itself and you've got it in line with the, the door lining, 
will give you a good point and a good guide to show you where the actual holes need to be drilled. And for your reference, it will be the, the uppermost bolt and the, yes it is, sorry, <laughs> this bolt here and the lower, most, lower bolt um, at the bottom, which is a good way to uh, have a guide. And then on the actual kit itself, you have this sort of foam padding that will come on the inside of the, um, the snorkel. And this needs to go between the body and the snorkel and just stops any rubbing um, and it eliminates any sort of dirt and stuff getting stuck between the snorkel and the body and then scratching your body work to heck so um, that's a great little thing to do and it's another la layer of sort of uh, water protection which is great so once you to this stage um, you can also use another item in the kit which will help you this is your innermost retaining bracket. This sits inside your wheel arch, and this is also a good little guide to use. So what you want to do is this sort of edge here. Um, you want to use that on the actual edge of the uh, where your vent goes in place, and then it'll give your upper drill point and your lower drill point that you need to drill. And once you drill those holes, um, you'll need an, either a six mil, between a six and an eight mil um, HCS drill bit. When you drill those holes, either use some form of um, anti-rust paint or use nail varnish, which I've used. It's going to be out of sight, so no one's going to worry about it. Doesn't matter what color you use, that should stop any rust in the future. This is another great little guide. But ultimately, I would lean on the actual snorkel studs. They give you a really direct guide on where it needs to go into the actual vehicle itself. And uh, once you're at that point, uh, we can move on to the rest of the stuff. So let's get straight into it. Righty guys, so when you work on your airbox, uh, you've just removed this fitting from the airbox, which is originally in there, and that is connected to your air pickup. And then in your kit, you've got this sort of tape and end piece. What you want to do is that is we're going to replace that. It's going to go over the edge of that, and that tape and end is actually going to run along the side of this and follow that sort of contour. And once that does that, it actually closes up these little holes and it has got a quite a tight fit, which is quite good. If you have a look at these little holes, that's from the original uh, fitting that goes in there. It's got these little clips. So this, with that contoured edge, goes over that, and then it basically covers all the holes. Um, and that's great for your tube. Once your tube comes into the archway, uh, it marries straight up in here, and it's a nice tight fit as well. Um, and what I suggest is when you start fitting these in, um, is get your uh, layer of silicone, get it in there just for an extra layer of protection, which will really, really help. Um, once you've got to this stage, you can basically refit your, um, your airbox back into position, get all the bolts back in, O2 or your mass uh, sensor back in, get everything sort of plumbed up, and then you can move on to the final stage of your tubing. Um, and once it's all connected up, everything is done back up in reverse and your job is pretty much complete. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking and let's move on to the last stage of getting this tube in. Alrighty guys, so once you've got your airbox fitted um, and you've married up your first tube that goes in position, um, what you'll notice is you, in the kit you've got these little brackets. Now have a look in your arch, um, yours might differ slightly to mine, but there was a, a screw that I, I used, or a bolt, sorry, um, and I just utilized the um, little dome head nut that came in the kit with a washer and I mounted that to the actual bolt in place and then I got that in position and I sort of married up quite well. And then lastly, you've got this bracket here, which is for the last tube, um, which will tie it in position in the actual archway for that to keep everything in position and stop it from moving around. Now, I believe um, with this particular one, there is some, you've got to bend this um, bracket in position. It's relatively easy, you just bend it with a, a pair of pliers and it actually bends nicely in position wherever you need to. And that will um, just look for a location to locate a screw uh, or a bolt um, in the archway. So that's definitely what you need to look out for. Um, and then once you've got your, you're on your final stage of fitting your last tube, this is obviously going to fit to the snorkel end and this will marry up to the, the, uh, the pipe that goes into the air intake. Then you've got this rubber um, seal which will need to go over both ends of the pipe and then you've got your hose clamps which need to go over each end to keep everything nice and watertight. Um, 
What you'll notice at this stage, especially if you're fitting this to a T6 or a T7 uh, Ford Ranger, is that this doesn't exactly fit. So you need to at least trim off 20 to 30 mil off this pipe, um, just so it marries up nice and tightly up to that one. And then you can put your rubber sleeve over and then seal everything up. So I'll get that done, get that fitted, and then I'll show you everything in a second once that's all done. Alrighty guys, uh, you'll be pleased to know you're pretty much finished now with all the pipe work and everything like that. So I'll just show you what it needs to look like um, and you know it's pretty much done. So let's have a look. So obviously you get your uh, rubber connector that's been done up with the two hose clamps where the two pipes connect. That tube is all the way back up into the snorkel mount up there. And if you have a look, that's the bracket I was talking about earlier that you uh, need to bend in place. And then you've got another retaining bracket up in this area here, just the back there. That basically fits on a little bolt up there on your dome nut and that goes into, just bends around into your air intake. And then sort of this area here, you can see where it's all married up inside there looking good and to get that sort of bolt in the back end there all I did was move the, the um, coolant reservoir out of the way um, and just to get my hand down the side there makes it relatively easy yeah so basically what I'm gonna do now is just uh, do up the uh, wheel lash liner get everything done and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in a couple minutes alrighty guys when you get to this stage you're pretty much complete now everything is done in reverse put the wheel back on the arch lining all everything is done what you will notice is a definite change in the, the sound of the motor now that it's sucking the air solely from your your snorkel which is good so a good way to test that is start the motor and just put your hand over the uh, top end of the snorkel and the, the intake and you can feel the air um, actually get, being pulled into the motor um, so then you definitely know that uh, you've got a good seal all the way throughout the whole system and it's been a good install so if this video has been um, useful to you, please share it with your friends, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.